Let's talk about sales promotion. The objective of this section is to describe sales promotion goals and methods. Sales promotion consists of activities or materials that are direct inducements to customers. Sales promotion techniques can significantly impact sales and are often used to enhance and supplement other promotional methods. Sales promotion activities may be used alone or in combination to achieve one goal or a set of goals. Sales promotion objectives should be consistent with the organization's general goals and with its marketing and promotional objectives. Most sales promotion methods can be classified as promotional techniques either for consumer sales or trade sales. A consumer sales promotion method attracts customers to particular retail stores and motivates them to purchase certain new or existing products. A trade sales promotion method encourages wholesalers or retailers to stock and actively promote a manufacturer's products. Marketers have several choices of sales promotion methods, which can be implemented as appropriate. A rebate is a return of part of the product's purchase price. Usually the rebate is offered by the producer to consumers who submit a coupon and specific proof of purchase. Rebating is a relatively low-cost promotional method, but consumers may not be attracted to it because they view it as to be too complicated or time-consuming. A coupon reduces the retail price of a particular product by a stated amount at the time of purchase. These coupons may be worth anywhere from a few cents to a few dollars. Customers can find coupons in newspapers, magazines, direct mail, and shelf dispensers in the store. After declining throughout the 1990s, the popularity of coupons has rebounded, largely because consumers can visit coupon websites and companies send coupons via email to loyal customers. A sample is a free product given to customers to encourage trial. Marketers utilize samples to increase awareness of a product, which can increase sales volume in the early stages of a product's life cycle and improve distribution. Sampling is the most expensive sales promotion technique. A premium is a gift that a producer offers the customer in return for using its product. Frequent user incentives are programs developed to reward customers who engage in repeat or frequent purchases. Frequent user incentives foster customer loyalty because the customer is given an additional reason to continue patronizing the company or group of companies. A point of purchase display is promotional material placed within a retail store. The display is usually located near the product being promoted. Most point of purchase displays are prepared and set up by manufacturers and wholesalers. A trade show is an industry-wide exhibit at which many sellers display their products. Some trade shows are organized exclusively for dealers to permit manufacturers and wholesalers to show their latest lines to retailers. Others are promotions designed to stimulate consumer awareness and interest. A buying allowance is a temporary price reduction to resellers for purchasing specified quantities of a product. A buying allowance is an incentive to resellers to handle new products and stimulate purchases of items in large quantities. A shortcoming of buying allowances is that competitors can counter quickly with their own buying allowances. Cooperative advertising is an arrangement whereby a manufacturer agrees to pay a certain amount of the retailer's media costs for advertising the manufacturer's products. To be reimbursed, a retailer must show proof that the advertisements did appear. 